I went ahead and I finished your tree. Hey, Kyla, did you happen to get a hold of that tree farm owner? My name is Kyla Whitmore. I am a researcher. I can't really hear you. I was hoping to come by, take an interview with you. That's good. I think I got good. Not good. Cody Samuelson. I'm Kyla Whitmore, researcher with the Michigan Heritage Society. I was hoping to talk to you about the history of the farm. Is that what the internet's for these days? Why don't you give Beverly a call at the library and records office? Oh, good morning. I'm trying to get some information on the Christmas tree farm. Why is everyone so resistant here? Come on, share a little bit of your time. All you gotta do is talk to me about this wonderful place. What do you wanna know? How long has the farm been in your family? Generations. My great-great-grandfather, Eric Samuelson, founded it with his business partner, Constance Barron. Constance, that's my middle name. What was it like growing up in a Christmas tree farm? Sort of like everyone else's Christmas was our Christmas, too. Yeah, I got a lot of good info on the farm. From the curmudgeonly lumberjack? <laughs> I think he's more of a soulful botanist. Hmm. Genealogy, huh? Yeah. My family tree's always been a bit of a mystery. This is the only keepsake that we have from my grandfather. That looks like the kind of a gift shop. I was hoping you could help me with Beverly. I can make that work. Constance Farrand? I think this woman might be a relative. We may be going out on a limb, but this looks like a match. Oh, wow. And should we call Mom? I think we should get Mom a train ticket out here. I'd like to check out one last thing, the county office. But I can't imagine that they're open. This claim never progressed to certificate of ownership. What'd you find out? That there was an issue, the land that the farm sits on. In my research of Constance, I inadvertently alerted the county to this. I have to get back to work. I'm sorry, Kyla. What's gonna happen to the tree farm? Merry Christmas Eve, Beverly. I wanted to ask you, were you close with the relative you inherited this house from? So Constance Farron had two children? Your grandmother, Cynthia. And your grandmother, Helen. And with two direct descendants, this could clear up the tree farm land issue. Sometimes you need something really big to come along and shake things up. Potential loss of your family livelihood counts. I was talking about falling for you. <laughs>